Late breaking. This is WBAL TV 11 News Saturday morning. This morning's woman's doctor, a rare cancer that can be vague and hard to spot. What's key with this disease is a correct diagnosis and some aggressive treatment. Helen Sabia had just returned from a trip to Paris celebrating her wedding anniversary when she noticed some postmenopausal spotting. Concerned, she contacted her doctor, who sent her for an MRI. And the MRI came back and indicated that there was, in fact, a mucousy cancer, which most likely was some form of peritoneal carcinomatosis. Peritoneal cancer is rare, and it develops in the tissue that lines the abdomen. In Helen's case, it had spread to her organs, including her liver. Mercy Medical Center Dr. Armando Sardi recommended a radical surgery. Are we go in and spend, you know, somewhere between 10 and 15 hours removing all the visible tumor. Uh, at the same time that we remove the, all the tumor, we're making sure that we, you know, put things together in a way that it reflects a good quality of life. Doctors removed her spleen, gallbladder, ovaries, uterus, appendix, fallopian tubes, and part of her liver, which has since grown back. Then they gave Helen that hot chemo bath. Just by putting a catheter, you know, some tubes in the abdomen, then we wash the abdomen for 90 minutes with heated chemotherapy. The idea is that you have a high concentration of chemotherapy right where the tumor is. So you can kill all the surface little tumor that you may not be seeing. Helen says she is walking proof that this treatment works. She says it's very important to get the right diagnosis so you don't undergo a number of operations before doctors figure out what it is, since this disease is hard to spot in its early stages. My prognosis is very, very good at this point. It has been two years since my surgery. There's hope. There's a lot of hope. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 That's News. The main thing that, you know, people and joining us now with more information is Dr. Vadim Gushin. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much. Good she's, morning. Good morning. And she's just lovely, very brave, and doing well. Yeah, she's a wonderful woman. She went through the treatment very well, and uh, she has a very positive outlook. Mm -hmm. And that's very important, but one other thing you say is important with this surgery. This surgery is still qu quite controversial. Why? Well, um, it was considered to be experimental um, 20, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. Now more and more centers consider it to be a way to go in very specific stage 4 cancers that spread over the peritoneal surface. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we accumulate a lot of data. We're accumulating a lot of data to support uh, our treatment approach. But it takes time for um, the medical community to come around with their opinions. Mm -hmm. OK. And, and so you're saying for people who don't take this sort of radical approach, they, they sort of go through things piecemeal. And that can be detrimental. Well, um, not quite. Uh, usually, chemotherapy is the uh, way to go. Okay. And it's a chemo endless chemotherapy with newer and more expensive drugs mm -hmm. and patients uh, tend to tire uh, get tired of chemotherapy and uh, surgery is the way uh, to stop this mm -hmm. kind of vicious cycle I guess I meant with, you know sometimes it would just be like one surgery it's sort of misdiagnosed we take out one thing and then you go back and there's more scar tissue and people usually go through a lot of surgeries before they that get is to this point. that is quite correct okay. um, especially if you uh, surgeons are not familiar with mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, rare diseases or with the new options mm -hmm. yeah they do it uh, the uh, the old way mm -hmm. and rely more on chemotherapy. So uh, the bottom line is ask your doctor about this particular treatment. Correct. Okay. Seek out the uh, information and uh, go for uh, an expert opinion to the places who, which uh, do this surgery in, uh, long, in, uh, for a long time in large quantities. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for coming in, Dr. Thank Christian. you for having me. All right. If you have any other questions or if you would like a referral, call 1-800-MD-MERCY.